it's it's the world championships it's a one day event that's unbelievable to to be a part of i met the king of belgium sprayed him a little bit with champagne so you're not supposed to do that but hey how did i know this is a this is a handmade uh, medal and friends in Odenard uh, were outside our house when we got back from, from the World Championships. They had uh, put American flags in their house and somehow they got in there. <laughs> I actually fell on the UCI grounds in the World Cup on October 1st and totally ripped my shoulder apart. I went to the hospital there, I told them, yeah, my shoulder was out, but I put it back in. I never raced until our national championships way too early to, to race again after the surgery. We didn't have very much money, so I had to race, and that was their only income. So we were living in Belgium. Thankfully, Frankie and Cindy here and helped us out, my wife, Corey, and I, and we just had our new daughter, Emma, our oldest one. Got a little, uh, little mud on you. <laughs> oh, over 12 years. Yeah. yeah. Ever since, yeah, he came to Europe. More importantly, just a friend. And I started racing from there. It felt unbelievable. It's the day before, two days before the World Championships. And um, yeah, lucky enough, it was real close to our house. We just drove over the morning of. Very calm, relaxed. Uh, I had nothing to lose. I had no points. I started in the last row of the bike race there. Uh, I just had a magical day. Our last row at the World Championships, yes. Fought my way all the way through. At one point, I was at the front of the bike race, and I had no idea because I had to come through so many people. Uh, I yelled to Frankie, well, where am I? He goes, you're winning the beeping bike race. And I said, okay. <laughs> It's a madhouse. I mean, there was, I don't remember, 40,000 people there. Um, and my film and my family were there also, and they were part of it. They were yelling and screaming, come on, Paige, come on, Paige. And then all the Belgians look at them like, oh. Because there was no Belgian uh, at the front at that particular moment, and uh, wonderful. See so a sea of people in front of you that are cheering, yawn, and I uh, couldn't smile enough that day. Super slippery, and uh, yeah, you had a bit of sand. You had, yeah, you had it all. and. Um, just came down to three pedal strokes up that one hill. They called it uh, Pages Hill or something like this. Went into a, a, a gully that everyone was falling over. I, I hit one, I got kicked to the, to the left a little bit. Everyone went on the right, got a better line. I was barely uh, spun out. Two, two and a half pedal strokes was it, and then uh, he got a gap that he won and I got second. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't complain about that. Crossed the line. Saw my, my wife, actually, uh, Corey. Our oldest daughter, Emma, was asleep. She had fallen asleep on her shoulder, and uh, she was pregnant with Milo, our second child <laughs> at the time. So, yeah, she just crying, and uh, it was uh, really amazing. And we did it ourselves. We, you know, Frankie and Cindy we couldn't have done it without them, and then my wife being a super uh, backbone of the operation, so <laughs> amazing thing. I have uh, here on, in this photo is one of the, the embrace at the end, right here. Yeah. So that's Emma and that's Corey. And yeah. Really, really great for myself, and, um, but more so for the, all the people that helped me out along the way. Um, we didn't. My career hasn't been the uh, the typical easier uh, program. It's been uh, learning, learning as we go. 